So here's how this is wired up. And I don't think that's right because I look in the, in the uh, installation guide manual for it. So look at here, I think uh, the, the ground that feeds my A91 sensor needs to come from number six instead of number two. And I don't know why they jumped from here to there. I guess that was their, their bright idea. Anyways, my goal today is to try to get this thing working right. All right, so I'm reading here, as uh, some of y'all commented, about reheat. It says, supermarket reheat's not allowed on gas, uh, is allowed on gas electric units only, not on electric or electric or heat pumps. So it says that we gotta have a, uh, a hot gas reheat coil downstream of the evaporator. It looks like that's what that's what that is right there. So it looks like they they come in and go back through these four that go up this these four right there. Let's see where those go. My hope is that it'll start displaying humidity here pretty soon. Okay, so we've got four. Here's our reheat. Reversing valve, someone, y'all commented about reversing valves, y'all, y'all were right. Got reversing valves. So, normally, oh look what we got also. We got a fan over here stuck running because of, um, because of that. See, interesting, huh? I think I got a couple fans not working over there. I think so. All right, unfortunately, this is um, this thing is not not working. This ain't no good. I wiped them off, but on the back there was some burn marks, and uh, and this thing's done. I was gonna try to get a zero to ten volt DC signal back to this. Here, this thing tells me uh, if I input, if I if I put, let's see, if I put nine volts to my inputs on this board. It's going to tell the board I got 90% humidity, like as if this thing was working. All right, well, I couldn't get it to, I can't get it on video. I just can't because I have to hold these, I have to hold these wires on my batteries, left hand on the white wire, right hand on the green wire, and I got to take this thing in my mouth and use it to poke at this deal here, and I was able to get it to say, Oh, look, it still says it, 54%. Ah, ha, ha. Oh, it's going to disappear now, though. Should. Uh, yeah. So, when I put that voltage to it, which that voltage is... Five point four six volts. It says it's 54% humidity. That's perfect. That's right. That's right. That's right in line. 5.46, 54% humidity. So everything, all this is good. This stuff works. But this thing has failed. It needs to be replaced. I'm going to do that. I'm going to get one of these. And I'm going to install it down in the store. Not in the stupid return. They probably ought to get a thermostat too. But I think I'm going to not use thermostat. I'm going to go with this. So that's what I did today. I applied 5.46 volts DC directly into the board, into the proper wiring terminals. I rewired it properly because it wasn't wired right, first of all. Third, I found out that this has actually failed, which I kind of thought it was failed anyways because of how it looked, you know, up there. I saw that yesterday. I figured it wasn't working. This is what they were feeding that, and we may have lost a little orange plug, but I used this one over here by just by slicing off the little... See these things they got? They got little teeth right there. You see the little, you see the little teeth that prevent you from sliding it into another spot. But that's okay. I believe also that I got uh, something wrong. I ain't got enough condenser fan motors coming on. That's got to be figured out. I got my meter though today. Those of you that think I don't like to use a meter, I do actually when I need one. Yeah, 
I don't have enough fans running because this year these these are getting hot. And that bitch got to alarm. Motor number one's not running. Uh, motor number two might be. Motor number three might be. Four maybe. Five. Man, these amp draws are all over the freaking place, man. So I got three fans not running. I can't hold the meter and, 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 and record, guys, I'm sorry. So outdoor fan motor number four is the one that's stuck on over there. Huh. That's the one that wasn't really working right. What's this freaking thing doing? When the other fans are on, this one don't spin right. What the hell? Man, there's some weird stuff going on with this unit, you guys. I intend to figure it out, though. Now, if you got a cheap meter like I do and yours doesn't test microfarads, there's things you can do with it that you, you, can, you can test a microfarad capacitor different ways. You test it under load. Now, this motor is turning and it's spinning the right direction, blowing air upward right now, but when the other fans come on, for some reason it doesn't operate right. It was spinning slowly, and I think it was spinning in the opposite direction. I don't know, I'm trying to see. Look what happened. That's my amp draws on motor four. The motor four stopped. Maybe the relay energized and for some reason when it did that it stopped. I don't know why. I don't think motor four is doing anything. See, see what it's doing now? It's going the opposite direction. Son of a bitch. How is that one motor four? It doesn't make sense for it to be motor four anyway, however we look at it, unless we go one, two, three, four, five, six. Can't be like that. Can't be like that. Oh. Weird. So if that's four going like that, that would mean that two and three are bad. Or, or I mean, are not working. Let's see. Two. Ah, uh, looks like two's running. Three's running. That's number five. No, yeah, number five is running and it's pulling a lot of amps. More amps. The start winding's pulling more amps than so all my start windings are pulling the most amps out of all the all the all the leads and all the motors. Maybe not that one. What's that? Number two. Six oh six two. According to, if that's number two, then number two's not running. All right, we've only got three motors running, that's for sure. And of those three running motors, they're all pulling too much, too many amps. They're over amping on the start windings.
I do know that uh, we don't, that ain't right. We can't pull higher amps of the start winding than we do on the run and the common windings. For instance, this one on the start winding, maybe I'm wrong about the start winding being the one that shouldn't be pulling the most amps. Maybe I'm wrong. This one's pulling 0.6 amps. And when I put these two across the leads up there, I get 502, okay? 502. The amps times 2652, right? Divided by 502. Then we got 3.17 microfarad capacitor rating. That's what we test, that's what we come out with. So that capacitor would be 70, has lost 70% of its power almost. Next we got this one, which is pulling 1.8. When I do the voltage on it, 344. 1.18 times 2652 equals divided by 344. So that capacitor is also weak, but it's only lost 10% of it. I stand corrected. Higher amps on the start winding doesn't necessarily mean such a bad thing. I need to get maybe one or two of those. I need to get like six of those. All right, so I just tested my meter with my meter from here, okay, from here to here on each circuit. So fan motor one, I went from gray to orange here. I got voltage. From fan motor two, I went from gray right here to right here. I got voltage. So on all of them, I got 478. Except on the one with the stuck relay. Something funny's going on with that circuit because of that. So I need to replace the relay. And then hopefully the motor will come back to life and be all good. So we need six capacitors, one relay, and at least two motors, but we might need three. I'm going to just tell them we need two right now. I'm going to try to get approval for that. And an A91 humidity controller. That's right. 